This little man's off school this week, so we're gonna try and ramp it up. We're gonna try and spend 2,000 pounds at four car boot sales in one week. And how much stock value we're gonna try and get, Jack? 10,000. So we're trying to get 10,000, so we're gonna make 8,000 before fees. That is the goal. See if we can do it. So this little guy is on summer holidays for how many weeks? Um, I think six. Six, maybe more. So we're going to try and keep him busy and we're going to try and buy, we're we'll probably try and visit three or four this week, car boot sales in the local area. There's loads around at Essex and Hertfordshire, so we're going to try that and uh, see whether we can get to 8,000 pounds worth of uh, goods in a week and try and keep the spending under 2,000. So we're gonna aim for about 500 per car boot sale. Um, so we're gonna show you the videos and we've also bought a drone so we'll be able to shoot some overhead to show you how big these sites can be. And um, there's big variances between the size of these um, the car boot sales. So we'll be keen to show you that. We're gonna show you the stuff we bought and um, hope you enjoy it. Well, it's a bit of a rainy day today and it's uh, summer holidays so Jack was very bored so we went down to Home Bargains and Jack picked up a couple of bits but what did you have to do before you chose it for yourself? We had to buy three things to sell so I could buy three things. I bought this, a ball down there and a yo-yo. So Jack bought a yo-yo, a ball and, bought... and it came to about six pounds and, and then we bought we... three of these Bumblebee Transformers for £7.99 and they sell for £19. So after fees we clear £8. So we made £24 and we spent £6. We made £18 and Jack got three free toys. And so Bumblebee sounds, um, changes into a different colour that you think. So we could even keep one of those Bumblebees but we will get those sold. It just shows you that you don't have to spend money and uh, Jack's got starting to get the right mindset now that um, if he makes money, you get a reward for it. Right, I bought a lot of stuff today, so we, rather than take forever to explain what it is, we're just going to rattle through on the prices. We spent £750 today, and we're going to start from this end, right? So this is a box full of hoses and stuff, so about 30 pieces in there. We're going to call that £300. Got 13 of these by Makita. They sell for £30 each. A couple of hole saws there, they sell for £40 each, but they're restricted, so they have to go onto eBay. Bosch Ho sells for 20. These sell for 12.99. They're rat they're spanners. Then these black and decker pieces, there's two of those, they sell for a tenner. 20 pounds on that set there. In fact, they're down to 15 online. So just 15 on those. Uh, no real value in the socket. We got the black and deckers there. There's five of those. They sell for uh, seven pounds each. Then we've got the calibrate, the caliper there, sells for 20. Glue gun sells for 15. These are the great by the day, the Dremels. They sell for 11.99 each. You've got 20 of those, so bit, it's about 220 pounds. I got those, got those. Um, Bosch box, just the empty boxes. They sell for 12 on their own. Uh, we got 12 pounds for that there. That is a charger. Then the Draper valve, that is 16 pounds. Bosch cutter, that is seven pounds. We've got the Makita, what is that, screw gun, yeah. that sells for £139. These you are... These are really good. We've got bought six of these. They sell for £179 each on Amazon. We're going to assume we're going to get £150 because they've got slight marks in the boxes. Not sure if we'll get away from them on Amazon because they're so heavy, we don't want to risk it. Please so we've got more of these, probably another £100 worth there. <clears throat> I think we're, we're low on those estimates, but we're going to be safe. 
Uh, Dremel 3000, that's £30. We've got the other Dremel that is going to be 25 This is an SDS power drill. That will be £139. Bought nine of these for £100. Um, they will sell for £30 each. This was this was a great buy, 20p for that, but um, we'll get six, seven pounds. Same on the wine glass, six, seven pounds, same price. Swear box, we never swear, but that gets six pounds. And then on to home bargains, when Jack wanted to pick up a new football, so instead of just paying out, we bought three of these for 7 99 each. They sell for 19 pounds each, so we cleared a good 24 pounds there. And then we've got the Sum Sums, Little toys by Disney. That's Got the 40 of them for 15 pounds. I reckon that's going to be the most famous one. I it know. will be uh, between five and 10 pounds each on those. Hello. So call it seven pounds each. That's one 40, that's 280 pounds worth there for 15 if we get it. Seems a lot of these. We sold a big one of these guys before, didn't we? Yeah, I wanted to keep him so much. <laughs> so we got a small one, bought that for a pound in a charity shop. I kept that one instead. There you go, we've still got that guy over there. Yeah. And the four of these things, Jack was getting a haircut, weren't you? So we sat yeah. there for 15 minutes. Rather than me just sit there waiting, pop next door to the charity shop and picked up these five items. You've got, um, so the alien there sells for 8 99 that was a pound. You've got this guy here, was a pound, that sells for 15 99 Jack's got this picnic basket rucksack, which is brand new. That was £15. That was sold for £45. Then we've got Despicable Me toy there. That was £2. That sells for £12.99. And then the last thing is a handbag hook for table. And that will sell for £16.99. And that was £2.50. And that was it for today, wasn't it? And he bought that guy there for a pound. Well done, Jack. Thumbs up. So we actually underestimated the value of this box. Now these came out of there, there's 13 of these, they sell for 25 pounds each. There's actually 300 just in the hoses. And then we've got the guns, there's about, I think 12 here. Easy, 150 pounds there. Another 12 of these, 150 pounds. 150 pounds there on those. And then we've got another, at least 300 pounds worth of hoses at the bottom there. So massively underestimated that. Right, so we just came out of a car boot sale, and how was it, Jack? It was rubbish. A um, couple of bits, we picked up a couple of bits, but uh, nothing really to speak of, and um, it just shows you, like, we want to point out, sometimes you go and you can't find the stuff that we always want to find, so luckily we're gonna, we've got a few others to do this week, and um, we'll hopefully make some more cash, but it's, it's not as easy as, um, not as easy as you think sometimes to find the really good stuff and often you get on a roll and I think sometimes it's mindset as well sometimes you're not in the mood to really dig in to find you know one item here one item there I always like now to find bulk because it's the quickest way to make fast cash but we'll go on to the next one won't we Jack yeah Right, so today we picked up a decent haul of stuff on the way back from glamping of all places. You had fun, didn't you? Really yeah. good fun. And we went back, had to pay for some of the costs, so we'll see if we can make some money on the way back. Went to Chelmsford, and this is what we picked up. Jack, yeah, you going to show us what we got? Okay, three top trunks for a pound. So three top trunks for a pound. We sold the green one for sixteen uh, for a ten ninety nine. so we should get at least £15 for two of those. Jack's keeping the bottom one. Um, we've been educating ourselves on toys recently, so we found out these little figures are quite good to bundle up in sets of four. They sell for like ten pounds for four. We bought the whole lot for a tenner, and they are they're the rare ones, you think, aren't they? Yeah. So we're going to do a bit of research on those. A splinter. And a splinter, I think, there's at least fifty pounds out of that lot, and that was a great spot by Jacko. With um, then we've got um, who's that guy? Stuff four. We bought four fifty p, but sells for twelve pound fifty. £12.50, we've had two of those this year and they're both sold. Uh, the Minecraft books, they were £2 for the six. These three here sell for um, £15, I have to go on eBay. These sell for £6.99 on Amazon each. Um, door knocker, that sells for 
£12.80 we paid a pound. The Sony headphones we paid a tenner, that sells for 32 The Irwin Gilbo Snips, they are interesting ones. They sell for £16 each, they were £4 each to buy. Um, Irwin Planes had those before, if you remember. We sell those for £44, they cost £12 each. These um, drill bits here, they were £5 each, they sell for £16.99. Now these were part of the bundle that Jack bought over there. These are Power Rangers, they make a Megazoid. And we realise if you get the five of them, um, then that makes a big toy that you can sell for £40. Now we've been paying, we've been paying a pound each for those. And we've got one more already, so we need two more. So we've got to be fairly lucky to find the other two, haven't we? But you don't really need the last one, which is the pterodactyl, because all that's always the end. That's right. So Polaris rucksacks for laptops, they sell for £26.99 each. They were a tenner. Now these are good. We bought these before. I think we actually um, forgot to film them because we sent them off before the video. But they were £7 each. We've got 15 of them, so that's £105. One of uh, the smallest ones actually sell for more. They sell for $20.99 for the blacks, $21.99 for the reds. The one Jack's holding there is $15.99, $17.99 on the purples, $18.99 on the red. All of these, uh, <clears throat> these um, multi-tool blades now, we keep buying these. They were £3.50 each. We've got quite a few here. Um, we'll count these up, but we've got three of these here. They were 3 dollars on all. They sell for £24 each. These ones here sell for $16.99. These sell for uh, £15. These sell, that one there only sells for £9.99. Sorry, this one actually sells for £14.99. This one sells for £9.99. And these sell for £14.44 each for the four. Um, locks. That's it. Good memory, Jack. We bought those before, haven't we? You only have one, but that was $21.99 that sells for. They were all £5 each. These ones here sell for $17.99. What, what do you say? Yeah, because I assumed these would be good money and they were $11.99, so Jack's mocking me. but These are different. These, these are, are different. different. Look, that, doesn't, that has that, but this doesn't. Yeah, they were £5 each. That was £14.99, that one. Can you remember how much that one was, Jack? £5, I think. We paid 5 but you remember how much yeah. it sells for? No, 25 25 on that. Um, Twister coffee with a twist, a bit of a random espresso set. That was £1.50, that sells for £16.99. We've just seen the game of that, but the, That's gonna be the, the game of the set. That'll be the game of the set, and then we found... 50p for that is a Star Wars quiz and that sells for 6 99 and a bit gutted actually I don't know what I was thinking but there was a load of different types of these there was um, these are paint it yourself tablecloths they had um, they had um, aprons as well but they only came up at 16 pounds these were four for uh, bought four for 15 pounds these sell for 22.99 each That's I don't know why I didn't buy the aprons as well because they sold for 16 I was just looking at these as the most valuable That's the proper big one there in that picture and i think you can wipe them off as well which is good um these are a little bit less marginal i normally like but they were 50 pounds for the four and they sell for 25 pounds each and uh, kingston and uh, kingston which is a good brand and the reason i got those is because the ranks i think it's in the top 50 in computers so they'll go really quick but that's it for today there's a few other bits that are not here there are they're in the uh, house at the moment, which is one Irwin shredder. Um, I've just realized I didn't put it out. That was a pound, that sells for $24.99. And we bought some cake slices, six of those, which are stainless steel. They sell for uh, $18.99 and they were 15 pounds for six. So that's what we picked up. I'll stick the images of the other couple of bits up, but I think it's a pretty good haul. Well done, Jack. Right, so this is the final car boot sale of the week. Now, it wasn't much um, in the way of different stuff, but we've got volume of this guy. What's it, Jack? Incredibles. So it's Incredibles 2. It's a power couple pack, and they were £3.50 each. They sell for £14 on Amazon, uh, minus the fees, of course. But £14 where they sell at. What else have we got, Jack? We have these. So these are Prosecco, Pimp Your Prosecco kits. They sell for 7 95 on Amazon and they were £2.50 for six. 
Um, the usual shears, only one of these because all the rest are quite tatty. That was a fiver, that sells for $16.99. Uh, Jack bought this classic thing, which I think I had when I was a kid. That was a pound. Um, what else have we got? A little dinosaur for 50p. Um, we bought this um, Rapesco four hole punch. That was £2.50. That sells for £9. Yeah. And this Nerf gun was £3.50. That is a mega handgun. That sells for £12 on Amazon. And that is it. Not much different stuff, but at least we've got some volume of the, uh, the Incredibles. Right, so just heading into holiday season, so we're going to answer a few questions that we often get asked now. What's the first question, Jack? What's the best three things that we have bought this year? So best three things I would say is number three would be the box that we bought, I believe, £15 at one of the car boot sales, and it had loads of attachments for trunking, etc. Now we've sold, I think, nearly £200 out of that box so far, and we've probably not even a quarter of the way through it. So for £15, that is an incredible return. Um, number two would have to be the toilet flushes. I can't remember how many we had of them. Maybe 120 we bought at £50 each. We were selling them all for £28.99, so we're clearing £23 off the fees. That from a 50p investment is pretty incredible. But number one has to be the storage unit. Uh, that we bought very very early on in the year and that was incredible i mean we paid 321 pounds for the whole unit we've sold over three and a half thousand pounds worth so far most of them are the magnets we've still got at least 300 in amazon we've probably got another 500 here so there's a, another eight thousand to come out of that unit that probably, has to be the best buy of the year probably we're not even halfway through the magnets no i don't think we are we're not even a quarter of the way through so that's the best buy of the year for sure. Right, so the second question is the obvious one and people love to ask this and that is what, Jack? What is the worst three things we bought this year? So the worst three things. Now, bearing in mind the amount of stuff we bought, we haven't lost on too many, but obviously you're going to lose on some. But um, <clears throat> number three would be, I'd say we bought a few ice and clearance bargains, low value, but they just get eaten up with the fees. So you've got to remember taking account the fees. And uh, we've got a load of BB-8 um, 3D viewers, and I think they're £1.49. We end up losing 68% of cash. So it was only like around just north of a pound, but percentage-wise, it's the worst. And that has to be number three. Number two was just an error with um, not looking at what you can sell on Amazon, what you're registered to sell. I bought a load of Gillette razor blades and you cannot sell them on Amazon, or we can't because we're not registered for that. Um, so we end up losing about, I think it's about 30% because we had to send them out via eBay, um, which they sell for less, more competition, and um, we lost money on that. But the worst one is what, Jack, what do you think? The car parts. The car parts. So even though we didn't lose money on that, we've actually made probably north of a thousand pounds, but, the deployment of those funds at the first, at the start of the challenge probably held us up because it was very slow moving stock. We were just trying to buy it for the pure number of, of items. But um, there's still 200 of those sat in our Amazon. We've sold rest of it off, but we're still a thousand pounds. I'd probably say it's the worst deal of the year, even though it's a, what do we pay? It's, it's over a 50% return, but the amount of moving around, the amount of work it took to load it, to unload it here, stack it on the shelves. It just took a lot of time and uh, we got very busy doing that. So that's probably the worst deal of the year, even though it made money, which sounds crazy, but that's, that's honestly how I feel about it. Right, the third and final question is what, Jack? Do you know if any of our subscribers have been inspired to do the same thing as us? So we certainly heard of a, a few people that have been inspired and um, via various, various different methods. So. YouTube is one, we're hearing it in the uh, chat box, we're hearing it in the comments section, and Instagram. Even had someone last week at one of the car boot sales come up to me and say, look, you're the reason I'm here, thanks for the inspiration, and that's really gratifying that people are actually making a difference and adding a bit of extra revenue. So that's what we set out to do, and um, really excited by that. 
So, and we'd love to hear more case studies. So if you have done well out of this, doing similar stuff um, and has been inspired by this challenge, then please leave a comment in the section below. We want to choose three people for next video to actually show their case studies of how they're doing, just to show that anyone could do it. And had a few comments saying it's okay for you because you have money to invest, but the whole point of this is it's a standalone exercise. We are trying to go from zero cash to however much we can in a year and um, go from there. Did you just fart? Jack. Right, so we had to let the air clear there a little bit, didn't we, little man? <laughs> so rounding up on where we're at. So, so far this year, we spent 93,000 on stock. We're sitting on 237,000 pounds worth of stock um, that's to be sold. And so far the sales have been 110,000 across uh, two businesses. Um, and as, as many of you know, we are now hitting VAT threshold, which means we have to start charging VAT and um, paying VAT as well. So that's gonna make a bit of a difference. I was chatting to my account today. It looks like we may be able to do a 10% flat rate VAT because we're under a certain threshold at the moment, but it may well change again. So it's all about making sure you keep in contact with the accountant to make sure you're doing the right thing. So we're doing that. And another thing to mention is um, a couple of people have commented that we don't make it clear that there's a lot of fees involved with some of the selling. Now, all the totals we run every week just shows you the sale price. It'd be impossible to remember the fees on a lot of the stuff because especially with Amazon, it changes product to product, so depending on the size. But in a general rule, it's 20 to 25%. And when I run the totals at the end, it will normally say the amount of profit, so just to be clear on that. But over the whole scheme, out of the 110,000 we've, we've spent, um, uh, sorry, in 110,000 in sales, we've done 14,000 just in fees. Now that might seem low because it's actually only 13% of the total, but the, the reason that is a lot of stuff is selling via Facebook, some of it direct, some of it at auction where we, as trade sellers in effect now, we're not paying commission on actual real place auctions, obviously eBay we will. So it actually brings the, the totals down, especially with the gym stuff, we're selling direct to some people uh, via Facebook, via whatever, but um, that brings the threshold down. But if you were purely online, you're probably looking at 20 to 25%. So they're the totals. Um, profit on cash that sat there is about 4,000 and um, that gives us a total pot value of 241,000 as we sit today with conservative values on the, on the items we've got. And what do we do next? Next one is the property deal. I had actually uh, around 8,000 pounds sat in the account ready for that. It's been delayed by three weeks just because of legals. So what do we do? Just re redeploy 4,000 of that and see if we can go again. And that's it for this week. Hope you enjoyed it and hope you follow the journey and we'll see you after the summer. Jack, you're um, off on um, holiday. Yeah, I'm going to Portugal for 10 days tomorrow and Wednesday. And he can't wait. I so can't wait. we'll see you when he's back.